Mm, 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 mm. Don't mind me, let me grab my mouth. Hey guys, uh, this is, well, now. Anyways, I was playing dying. I got my... I got the shit kicked out of me. Like, this motherfucker just mopped the floor with my bitch ass. I mean, I just pretty much left. I sang the fuck that shit I'm out song. And, well, we had a, we had a nice chat. And, uh, yeah, we're cool. Hopefully get... Okay, so my job is I currently have to clear this place out full of, uh, these fucks. So let the rave party begin! Does that fucker have a- <laughs> The fuck is he gonna do with a fucking stick? The fuck? Okay, there has to be a way out of here. Oh. Got him. Okay. Awesome. Now time for the fucking boring part. Looting. Well, that's sad. Hope the kids made it out. Hmm. That's a cute teddy bear. I might have that just just to, just for science, I guess. I don't know why the fuck I would take a teddy bear, but hey, you never know. Oh wait, this fucking uh, these lunch boxes. These lunch boxes are actually very useful. Fuck yes, booze. That sound. It's like a dog. I hear something! Either they're right above us or they're right around the corner. Okay, there might be another way up here. Oh, lucky me. You know, I found some pretty fucked up shit in these toilets. I don't know what the fuck Bethesda... The people that make this game, I don't know what kind of... They must be pretty fucking bored, or they're on some pretty trippy shit when they make these, uh, levels. Ooh, comfy pillow. Because I remember I found a fucking skull, like two skulls, just making out. I wouldn't say they were making out, but... One skull was... Like, there were just a skull in the toilet for no apparent reason. I was... I was pretty freaked out. 
Like, you can find the skull in... What was it? Shit. I don't need to go there. Is there any way out of here? Fuck. Oh. Yes, there is. Right in front of me. Alright. Pew. <laughs> Hold up. I, I gotta see this. Pew. Motherfucker, your friends got slaughtered and you're fucking cooking? Some people. Interesting dying sound. Now, pew. Oh shit, no, pew, no! God damn it, no, I didn't mean to. He looks so happy. Oh well. Oh god damn it! I was wanting to take a screenshot, like, you know how he looks so fucking happy, but now he's gone? God damn it. So much for that shit. <sighs> oh, shit. My bad. You know, I wonder if I'm actually gonna have a fucking viewer someday. That'd be- that'd be cool. But then again, I'm always kind of cautious because I don't want to accidentally be some kind of, like... I've seen what YouTube starterdom can do to people and... I don't want any part of it. I just enjoy playing video games. Might as well just fucking share it. High speed shredded minigun. Fuck it. Do I... Yeah, I, I don't have that much ammo. Oh my god. Yeah. I'll put it in my base. Wait, is the pew is the pew just like called is this is this is this thing itself a pew? Yeah, it, it probably is. Shit, I gotta stop. Shit's getting weird. But then again, this would be pretty fucking boring without any kind of commentary. It would. I don't know why, but for some reason, this shit reminds me of the, uh, at work, where I work at, this shit reminds me of, uh, what's it called? The strawberry, no, the cherry frutistas. Maybe just because of its red complexion. Yeah. I don't know why fucking Taco Bell even bothers. It's, I mean, the frutistas, they're nothing more but just slush. That's what they are. It's, I, it's so fucking stupid, but... I mean, I still drink it. I mean, I still in consume it, so... If I think it's so stupid, why the fuck do I even... Why? I have no one to blame but myself in that situation. So... I should probably just shut the fuck up. Alright. Bingo. Hell yes. Aw, that's cool. Uh, the same dude that fucking mopped the floor with my ass. He, you, know, you know, fuck it, I'm gonna, like, accept his friend request, just because he's cool. I'm gonna fucking invite him to a party. I mean, like, he's a hunter, so... Alright, so, sorry about that guy. Well, whoever watches this. Back in action. You turn to application...
Is that a... F to be I could still t I could still do this shit you are I'm like pretty much inviting this guy. I'm so sorry, guys. Really, whoever watches this, I'll be like, it's not. I'm like using the iPad now, but so uh, I'm not much of a YouTube thing, but I always fancied the idea of like being a content creator. You know, just creating content, even though I, I don't have any technical expertise. But hey, I can learn. But <laughs> I also have other things to focus on, like. Shit, uh, that's probably not the best thing to talk about on a YouTube video, because, I mean, like, that's my personal life, and, like, you guys give a shit about my personal life, in all honesty. Like, I'm fucking lucky if anyone watches this, really, considering how, like, unknown I am. Because I'm, oh my god, the, YouTube is so fucking oversaturated with people like me, just, oh my god. You know, I really hope this video is lost within the sea of other wannabe YouTube stars. Really, I do. Yes, he wants to fucking watch.
so sorry guys really I am I am so fucking sorry really I'm trying to look for myself right now on YouTube so I can help this dude find me I mean like my name is Jose Zamora and like the 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 chances of finding my fucking ass on YouTube I mean on let alone Facebook is pretty fucking slim cuz I mean my name is Jose Zamora that's like pretty that's like John Smith in Mexican terms God damn it I'm just going to have to fucking sign out Anyways uh what is you guys' favorite I mean hold up let me just Oh my gosh, I am so sorry. This must. Oh shit, someone's already on. Alright, so I'm just gonna fucking assume that's you fucking counts. Oh my god. What's up, buddy? Aw, oh, shit. That is such a shame. That is a shame. Oh well. That is really disheartening. Oh, okay. Mr. This motherfucker. Yeah? So, you got Fallout 4? Is right now while I'm currently what I'm doing right now is uh I took up a bounty to take out these uh super mutants. Anyways, do you have Fallout 4 by any chance? I'm just gonna ask again. Well, not much of a texter, I see. I feel you. Same here. I'm more of an observer. I don't really uh, watch much. I mean, I mean, I don't. How do I say? I don't put forth much uh, effort into communicating. I just watch. I'm like that. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody's right. I'm watching you now. Yeah. Oh, you got Fallout 4 too? Shit. What level are you? I'm just curious. Anyways, for people who watch this in the future, this motherfucker, Mystics... It's weird. Because his account... This motherfucker. I have to give him a fucking shout out because he mopped the floor with my ass. I'll say... I said it once. I'll say it fucking again. This dude knows his shit on fucking... Uh, don't fuck with him. If you see Count uh, Suikotsu... You're fucked. Because he just... Oh my god. I'll try not to repeat myself, but... Yeah. This dude, he's the shit at uh, being a night hunter. So you better just stock up on those flares and pray to god. He, uh... He, he uh, doesn't ground pound you. Like the move, no sexual pun intended. Am I... Shit, I think I am stuck. And there is, uh, enemies. This is a, such a way to go. I'm not, I don't want to die like this. Fuck me. God damn it, god damn it, fuck. I gotta chill, okay, I gotta calm down. Yeah, you can hear him too. I can hear him. Fuck, 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 fuck. You know, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna be a coward. And I'm just gonna... There we go. There we go. Anyways, I got some message, Mystic Soikotsu. Oh my god, this PlayStation app, dude, is so fucking useful.
Oh fuck. Oh shit! Holy fuck! Okay, right into the action. Love it. Oh shit, 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 shit. Okay. You play Minecraft? Wait, shit, I'll just message you instead of like talk through the stream. Yeah, now is not the time to message. He's gone, so time to fucking... Oh, you're back, I think. Oh, well. I swear, those, like... Where is this bitch ass? The ones, the suicider. The suicide, uh... Super mutants. Oh, shit, that is a RPG. So, you know, one of the... You know, like, those... One of the controversial things about uh, the what are they called? Video game leagues, you know, uh, esports. There we go, esports, like competition video games. I mean, like uh, the uh, entire esports thing was under fire one time because this one dumbass, uh, a professional esports player, es what do they call them? Esports athlete? No. Athletes, I don't know. the 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 athlete version of uh, esports. This one dude was talking about how the only way you can actually be good in esports is that you take ADHD medication like uh, Vyvanse or Concerta. And like I have ADHD, believe it or not, and I can I, I'm lucky because I can actually legally get ADHD medication, and I am guilty of abusing my ADHD medication of actually being decent at video games. <sighs> like for now instant for instance but right now but still what do you think about that that's I mean like if I was actually wanting to be an esports athlete that's gonna suck dude cuz I wouldn't be able to take that medication and you're gone okay uh, time to focus on the game Oh my gosh, you're just off and on now, ain't ya, buddy? <laughs> yeah, I, I know you're here, buddy. It was, um, oh, 50 caliber. Yeah, I'm kind of curious, dude. Like, you're just off and on. I mean, I'm, I'm, I mean, of course it's not my business, but anyways, I probably should just focus on, uh, the form of, uh, media entertainment. You know shit always hits the fan when those vertebrates are around. So how long have you been playing Dying Light? I'm kind of curious. Like, how long does it take for someone to get to your... Yeah. ...skill level? There we go. 
I mean, you could just like answer through the comments on the sub thingy, because I'm sure it's a bitch like doing going off and on. God damn it. <laughs> A long time. I feel you, buddy. I used to have been quite the average dying light player. You haven't lived in... <laughs> God damn it, Bethesda. God damn it. I swear. These guys are... You haven't lived until you killed someone with a fucking teddy bear. Anyways, welcome to my base. It's nothing special, really. It's pretty humble. I'm sorry. You, I'm sorry you had to see that, but this dude has just been stuck in my uh, property. Oh, shit! Piper! Sorry. Anyways, back to uh, focusing. As I just gotta get rid of this body. But again, so sorry you had to see that. I mean, this dude, he has been stuck with his fucking cow. Like, he's... I mean, I, I don't know how he got into my uh, premises, but he he somehow did. And he had this cow. And I guess he was programmed to, like, go this journal direction. And I mean, like, the walls are here, so he's stuck in here. And I mean... This is my... I mean, I'm not really that kind of a... I don't really give a shit about... Damn. Anyways, I don't... Anyways, people who watch this later on, I don't really give a shit about people who, uh... I mean, I don't really give a shit about the, uh, village things, even though it's pretty useful, I understand that. Welcome back! Anyways, yeah, I'm pretty much just getting rid of this body. Essentially, because, long story short, he got stuck in my premises, and he's stuck between the wall, and I was just, I was all like, I just, my property, my my place. Sorry, don't have anything to sell. I'm on my way to Vault 81 to restock. Maybe you can find what you need there. That's a good idea. I might go there. Right after I drop all this shit off, so I can carry shit. Anyways, do you are you pro power armor or? What is your preference, power armor or no power armor? I'm just curious. You know. I gotta take this thing in and repair it anyways. <clears throat> Hey, welcome. Anything I can do? Don't know if you're the same person. I don't know if you're Mystic or some other person, but welcome to the stream. Fuck yes. <sighs> you know, I'm not actually a uh, 
I don't really like using power armor. The only reason I'm using this is because I just want to be able to get the easy uh, level up points so I can actually invest it into the places that I really want them. Pretty much I'm just being a fucking cheater, honestly, because I'm taking advantage of this. Uh... So when Bethesda did that uh, patch, you know, when they took away like the unlimited money glitch... I kind of noticed when I was in the when I was in the suit, I wanted to use the laser Gatling gun, the laser Gatling, for the first time, and I realized that when I shot at it and re I reloaded, my uh, the amount of uh, power cores, you know, that feeds into the uh, Gatling laser doesn't go down. I kind of it was pretty cool. Like, let me show you. Just pay attention to my ammo. <laughs> Don't know. Oh wait, holy shit! Actually went down. Hold up. I think did the glitch just fix itself or some shit? It used to have been that whenever I reloaded, the uh, power core count would stay the same. There we go. You notice that? So pretty much there's this unlimited ammo glitch for the uh, Gatling laser. So that's why I'm in a power armor, really. I'm just doing it for the easy skill points because I actually want to be a sneaky sniper. Oh shit, no, I gotta be careful. Hold up. I don't know how the fuck this glitch works, but I'll figure it out. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Anyways, I probably sh I need to focus. So I'll just give you a quick tour of the uh, my humble abode. Yeah, this is, I made this cute little uh, area for the dogs to congregate. One gets their own personal bed, the other, doghouse. That dog reminds me of, uh, you played Grand Theft Auto, you know in GTA 5, uh, what's his face's dog? He reminds me of that one dog from Grand Theft Auto 5. I never really used the dog mechanic. Anyways, this is my humble abode. I like it. Got my own TV. You just sit down and... Yeah, I'm in power armor. Shit. Here is the power room. I used to actually have stuff built here, but I kind of fucked up. And he's gone. Goodness gracious, I told this dude to just comment through the, uh... <laughs> My bad, dude. Kind of assumed, but anyways. Yeah, this is, uh... My humble abode. Chop. Oh! Right! That's the motherfucker's name! Chop! That, that dog. The Rottweiler reminds me of Chop. <laughs> anyways. Here's all my shit. I'm kind of, uh, I'm guilty of hoarding, if you haven't seen. I mean, we're all hoarders in Fallout 4. We're, we're all guilty of our hoarding. I mean, I'm pretty sure you have your own fucking stash of shit. Anyways, I'm just here to drop some shit off. Then go to Vault 81 because I don't want to go to. Ex I don't exactly want to go to do any main story quests because I'm not really interested. I just want to 
get the skill points and become a sniper, really. What's your preferred playstyle? Okay, Piper. Thank you for your comment. Scrap. Look at this beauty. 103 damage. I found this bitch in uh, fucking Diamond City for sale. Dude, oh my god, fucking aluminum, shh. <sighs> god damn, dude, that sucks. Shit, I'll probably find the supplies in goddamn, uh, bowl eight. <clears throat> oh my god, dude, that is so frustrating. Heavy metal style. <sighs> so, the way I'm playing right now is how you like it. Nice. I'm more of, like... I try to use my head, though I'm guilty of just being a lazy... F like, I'm just guilty of being a lazy fuck. Okay. I'm thinking, I'm just gonna take... This thing stock, I'm going to take it and replace it with this. Then I'm just going to do the switcheroo. Actually, I have, a, I have this really special sniper rifle. It's called the never-ending sniper rifle. Like, I'd never have to reload. It's a good sniper rifle. And I think it's already yet. Shit. Okay, change of plans, dude. We're going to fucking Diamond City to get that sniper rifle. Right after I drop some more shit off. <sighs> Just to compare. I don't want you. Dear God, I don't need you. Where the fuck is all this uh, weight coming from? Sorry, I gotta my inner new like my inner how do, I, how do I say it? My uh that part of me where I'd rather live in a video game instead of reality because reality sucks is making me have to make sure that it's placed at least somewhat realistically, not just splattered all over the floor. I mean like I'm not I mean I'm normal, trust me. But it was pretty bad once upon a time. Do you uh remember do you do you remember playing PlayStation 3? Did you ever use a PlayStation 3? God damn, I like this look. God damn, 40 minutes in. Oh my god. Uh shit. Uh remember PlayStation Home? Like do you know what do you remember what PlayStation Home was? Like, I can explain it to you if you don't know what PlayStation Home was. No, like, no worries, bruh.
Okay, so pretty much what PlayStation Home was, it, it was a social game where people would make their own avatar and then, like, you know, just talk to other avatars. Think of it as, like, if you know what it is, think of it as, like, a very watered-down version of Second Life. Pretty much you had your own avatar, like, you used real money to buy digital clothing, and you pretty much just talked to people, like, it... Uh. And my point with that, like, explaining that is... There was a point in my life where I would rather live behind a keyboard and television screen and just essentially just live a life behind... Pretty much just live... I'd rather... Oh my god, I still cringe just talking about it because it's just so fucking shameful. I feel like I'm in... I feel like I'm talking about my life story like I'm on that show uh, Intervention where there's a person that has an issue and... <sighs> okay. Let me just, let me just psych myself, oh my god. I mean, I, I tell the story multiple times, like, the moral of the story is, it's better to live in reality, even though it sucks, but it's, uh, first, let me just tell the story. Like, if you want to hear it, of course, it's kind of a long story. Well, it's not long, but it takes some time, and I don't want to fucking bore you with a story you don't give a shit about. Oh dear god, okay. <sighs> okay. Okay. Okay, I'll tell you. Even though I'm, I'm telling this to complete... I mean, I've told this story to, like, when I was at work at Taco Bell, I actually told it to a complete stranger, but he was a really cool dude. Anyways, PlayStation Home, like, as I said before, it's pretty much, like... They're worlds, okay? And you pretty much just dress up your you dress yourself up. And the thing about PlayStation Home is it had various aspects, like uh, say Assassin's Creed. Like it had because it was a video game, you could add like there were skins like Assassin's Creed skins or skins from various games, like primarily from Sony's own uh, <sighs> from Sony's own brands like Killzone. You you know like the game Killzone, right? So when I first started out playing, pretty much like a little backstory, when I first started doing PlayStation Home, I was I wanted to do it because I mean in but at the time I was like in 6th or 7th grade. At the time I wasn't really doing the best socially. So I uh I I tried PlayStation Home. You know like just be someone else instead of that socially awkward shut-in and yeah <sighs> I, I so back on Killzone so when I first started playing I, w I didn't waste any money like I was young okay I, my mom wouldn't buy me PlayStation Network cards this was before I had a job so I pretty much for some reason I don't know why I uh, I I, I, I pretended that, okay, let me just do, a, let me just roll, rewind a bit. So I wasted time in Killzone, in the Killzone world, where it was Killzone themed. And if you played this minigame, you unlocked clothing articles from the Killzone game franchise. And I unlocked pants and the shirt, black shirt that had Killzone on the chest. 
And for some fucked up reason, I was role playing as if I was a veteran from the kill <laughs> kill zone thing. Okay, I don't know why, honestly. But like I it it started it first started like that, but then it just went downhill because I just kept playing cuz it was an escape from reality and this virtual one was kind of I wanted to be something else, something like sociable and uh, okay I just experimented okay and I slowly got more into PlayStation home and eventually the one person that made me fall down the fucking well it it was the beginning of the end I finally started slipping toward the fucking deep end was I met this one character her name was butterfly kiss 22 okay and I, uh, you know, I was friendly because, I mean, for some reason, whenever you meet new people, it's always the first time when you meet them that you're, you know, you barely even know them. So you're a bit more, you know, char charismatic, let's say. And I managed to hit it off with her well. You know, I was for some reason dancing and yada, yada, yada. One thing led to another. And, you know, it went really well. Holy shit! What the fuck was that? I mean, I already know, but... Okay. So... I met her again, and here's something that was more cringeworthy. I... I role-played as if I was a bartender. I shit you not. And the bar... <laughs> the bartender thing was, like, there's this world called the Adventure District, and they had this, like place that was a bar area and you could walk behind the counter and for some reason I would <laughs> I it's fine dude uh, it's fine because I mean I grew out of it kind of not really but in a way so uh, I pretended to be a bartender and here's how the bartender thing worked okay so you stood behind the counter and people would sit and then you would type I mean Back then, I didn't have a keyboard. I would get a keyboard, a wireless keyboard, to help type me to talk faster. But I would type in, welcome, how can I help you? And they would ask for a drink. And the cringeworthy part is they played fucking along. And it was just this... This... Just the entire atmosphere was weird because everyone was role-playing. And they would, like... <laughs> yeah... So, uh, they would ask for a drink. I would literally put a star right next to it, which would mean an action. So, I would, like, goes under counter, gets, yeah, whatever the fuck they want, opens it, then slides to them. And they would put a star and say catch, and they would say thanks. And that's how the role play would go. And it wasn't, I mean, like, at the time, I wasn't really, because back then, I was just enjoying it. And... One day, like, the same character, Butterfly Kiss 22 showed up. And, I mean, like, we said hi, yada, yada, yada. Like, we, he's gone again, but I'll talk more about it later when he's back. Welcome back, dude. <laughs> Welcome back. So, yeah. The same character, what's her name, Butterfly Kiss 22, showed up, and we like said hi, you know, and you know we would, I hit it off well with her again, and the, f it, I'm trying to remember how it went, but pretty much essentially like she asked me if I was this guy, like, quote unquote, I never got along this well with someone, like the only person I ever got along this well with was uh, Kyle, and she asked me, are you Kyle? And immediately I just say, no, I'm not Kyle. And she's, she's like, you sure? And I'm like, no, I'm not Kyle. My name. I told her my real name. Okay, keep bear this in mind. Okay, bear that in mind. I told her my real name. Okay, Jose Zamora. And somehow, somehow the conversation steered in a direction where my, she was still asking like. 
are you like somehow the convert i don't know how it was so long ago it was like years ago like when i was like 14 15 i'm like 17 right now so that gives you an idea of how long ago this was and for some reason the wheels were turning in my head and i'm just like you know what fuck it and i just said pretty much you wouldn't believe me if i actually said i was kyle and then she made the oh <gasps> face okay I pretty much said, yes, I'm Kyle. I'm, And that's where it went. That is where shit went downhill. Okay. The very moment I pretended to be someone I wasn't. Literally, like, this person thought I was someone else. And this is how she introduced me into the... Oh, my God. This was It was the beginning of the end, okay? Essentially. Because when I met her, she was in... A Assassin's Creed, you know Assassin's Creed 2, you know? The best of the Assassin's Creed games, right? You played Assassin's Creed 2? Okay, you know uh, Ezio, like the one costume where he's like in a white, you know, you know the trademark one. It's the one in front of the cover art, box art. And pretty much the only reason I talked to her in the first place was because she was in an Ezio costume, which I thought was pretty fucking cool. And apparently in PlayStation Home, there's these things called fams. Okay, they're a, a family. And essentially in PlayStation Home, it is a group, it is like a party, it's like this special club. A family is a club that players can join, and they're part of that club. They have their own clubhouse and shit. <sighs> okay. They have their own clubhouse and shit. And pretty much what was the beginning of the end for my part... Was when she thought I was someone else. And. Before I get to that. Like I hanged out with her more. Okay. And I'm like. Imagine. Okay. Imagine you're in a situation where. You're pretending to be a person. That you don't even know how to fucking act. And you talk to people that know the person you're pretending to be. <laughs> like. You pretend to be. Like. They know you. But. And you're supposed to pretend that you know them. Like. Hey Kyle. Hey Kyle. How's it been going? And then they talk about shit as if you know what the fuck they're talking about and you secretly don't. And imagine, this was like a long time ago. And the only... I guess you're gone again. Alright, I'll get back to you when you... I'll go back into the story when you're back. Oh, well, welcome back, dude. So, uh, okay. So, where was I? Shit, I kind of lost my train of thought when you left because I was like, you know, I'll I'll continue the story when he's back. So, essentially, like, hmm, yeah. When I was in that fucking house with her, I mean, like, when I, you know, talking to people. Imagine yourself in that situation where. You're talking to people, and they expect you, like, they think you're this Kyle person. And apparently, I'm going to get back on topic. So, she belonged to this thing called the Assassin's Wolves. And this is where it gets even more cringier. This specific family, they were into some hardcore fucking roleplay. Because, like, they... Assassin's Creed Wolves, like, I never leave. That's weird. Because, like, the... In my screen... Like the little person thingy. Like the little person thingy, like it goes from one to zero, so I assume you leave. My bad, dude. But essentially, like. The Assassin's Creed Wolves. Like, they're this club, okay? 
And just to give you a... To sum it all up, a fam is pretty much gangs. In PlayStation Home, fams were gangs. And they were multi there were different gangs. Okay, there was... You, from what I remember, fuck. Uh, United Red Nation, United Blue Nation. Like, those were the biggest, more prominent fams. And these guys were... They, 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 they pretty much were fucking gangsters. Like, they were pretty much gangs, and they acted all gangster and shit, and they had this weird fucked up hierarchy shit. People allowed themselves, I mean, yeah, this hierarchy, this pyramid, like, most people were at the bottom, and then people at the top of the pyramid, and I actually joined this one fam, and I just pretty much, you know, I blew their fucking bubble, but this was like a long time after. But pretty much that's what a fam is, it's a gang. And the Assassin's Creed Wolves thing, I was young, alright, and, uh, And I just ate that shit up. Because essentially, like, Assassin's Creed Wolves, their entire thing was, like, they had to prevent PlayStation Home from being doomed. Like, PlayStation Home was, like, doomed from the Templars. Pretty much, like, they were trying to protect PlayStation Home from the Templars. And pe pretty much people that, like, <sighs> pretty much that people were, like, trying to, you know harm PlayStation Home. Like, the best the best way I can sum it up is, you know the Salem Witch Trials? You ever heard about that? Like, the Salem Witch Trials? Shots inside the city if you need to play. Huh? Okay, yeah. So, like, the Salem Rich Trials, like, I'm just going to assume that you know it. Like, that was the pretty much it was the general atmosphere like if you were if you were like accused of being a templar like so and so is a fucking templar like you would just pretty much i don't you would just pretty, pretty much assaulted not physically cuz it's a fucking video game but you'd be verbally assaulted and oh my god don't even get me started with the fucking role play oh shit dude i just realized that my health is pretty fucking low shit but anyways, if you were accused of being a Templar, which is a dick move on some people's ends, uh, you would be pretty much, a t yeah, you'd be pretty much enemy to the Assassin's Creed Wolves, and it got even more cringeworthy because some people would roleplay as fucking uh, Templars, and those roleplaying fights, it got pretty weird. It got weird. Like, a roleplaying fight was like, these people... They just lost their fucking minds, really. They were just really into that shit, like... To d oh my god, I'll spare you the details. But anyways, back on topic. Shit, I'm really getting off topic. But yeah, I'm just pretty much explaining to you the world that I was in and how I got lost in it. So, yeah, apparently this Kyle person that they... I somehow was lucky enough. I was, pr I was so fucking lucky to be... Uh, I don't know how the fuck I did it, really. But I managed to make them believe that I was this Kyle, and I fucking played it off. I pretty much created this entirely. I, like, you know, I just was this alter ego, like, Kyle. That's, oh my god, that's how I fucking started. And, uh... And... Whew, okay, okay. <clears throat> this is where, I mean, this the part was, it was so fucking stupid. Like, this bitch was so stupid, like... Butterfly Kiss 22. How she was stupid because... Butterfly Kiss 22, like, I... In multiple times, multiple times, I m accidentally said her name wrong. Her name was... Her real name was Kayla. And there were multiple instances where I said her name wrong. 
Okay, right then, right then and there, when I said her name wrong multiple times, she should have fucking knew that I wasn't Kyle because I was this really close friend of hers. And this is when I thought I was fucked. But me being me, for some reason, I just kept my cool and somehow I managed to save it. I mean, I managed to just save myself. And yeah, I managed to pretend to be this Kyle person. And who this Kyle person was, he used to run the Assassin's Creed Wolves. And, like, there's, like, at least 30 people that, like, actually, you know, like, I was pretty much the boss. I was the former boss. And they, like, apparently the old, the last Kyle, the person that I pretended to be, he just fucking disappeared for some, he just disappeared for no apparent reason. Like, I looked up his uh, gaming thing, and he hasn't, he hadn't been on for, like, 12 months at the time. And I'm, like, messaging this dude, like, hey... Are you going to get back on? Because, you know, it was pretty fucked up. It was really wrong of me to, like, pretend to be this person that I wasn't. So I was, like, trying to contact this dude, you know? Like, gamer tag. I traced his gamer tag to his email. The dude never replied back. So, I, I mean, I just pretty much, you know, assumed the role of this Kyle person for no, for no good reason. And that's when I, it went downhill because, uh... God damn it. Sorry, gotta fucking squash these bugs, literally. Anyways, now I gotta get to the just get to the fucking point, Jose. Yeah, exact. Oh, right, those fucking bugs were just they they scared the. Sh I didn't want to sound like a fucking pussy and scream like a little bitch in front of you, so I'm kind of impressed how I managed to stop it. So pretty much, I just assumed this, the real Kyle, he just either died, or he was just so fed up with this shit, he just disappeared. That's what I thought. So I was young, 14, I was pretending to be this one person that I wasn't. And I managed to, I, uh, pretty much, I, uh, I got into a relationship with uh, Butterfly Kiss 22 Kayla. I got into a relationship with a person online in a video game, in a social video game. I got, I took her to dates, and there was drama. I don't know, f I don't fucking know how they're caught, they're, po I don't know how, but somehow they're managed to be some, I don't know how, but drama. She and thinking back on the time, I think it was just because of my childish, childishness. Like she was a girl, like she was still a female. And boy, dude, I knew she was a girl, because, oh my god, the picture she sent me, that, oh my gosh, she was, she, let's just say I knew she was a girl, let's just say that, and, pretty much, she wasn't the, the brightest, so, yeah, I'm talking about how I got into a relationship with this bitch, person, I respect her. Even though I don't talk to her. Essentially, like, she would, like, hang out with other guys. And for some reason, I would childish, I would childishly get jealous. And she wouldn't spend time with me. You know, you know, it was like, I was 14, you know. I was being a little bitch about childish shit. You know, you feel me? And, yeah. I ate that shit up, so I pretty much was role-playing this Kyle thing, and it just got worse because I was into... I, I really got into the role, and next thing you know, I play... I'm really into the relationship with Kayla, and, like, I would rather... I remember sometimes when I would, like, be on my way from school, like, as soon as I... Is her brother, Nami, was Aston? Is her brother, Na, name... I, I don't know, dude. I'd never really... Oh my god, dude, no, I, <sighs> no, no, I never really, I didn't, I tried to, like, not try to know her that well, because the fucked up part was, she was always asking me, how come you never text, like, call me back, or how come you never text me, and, like, she was always like, hey, text me, in real life, and, <sighs> dude, like, it was, I don't know how, uh, somehow I managed to tell her, like, my phone line is down, or, some shit like that, and I texted her, 
And like my my greatest fear was like, fuck the wolves. <laughs> I thought you said you didn't know what PlayStation Home was. But yeah, fuck that. I mean, like, if I was, like, back then, if I was, when I just started, like, becoming Kyle, I would probably be, like, all, like, defending the wolves. Because, you know, I was really into that shit, like, religiously. But now, dude, I fucking agree with you. I agree with you all the fucking way. Like, it just, because she would always text me, like, no, no, she would always ask me to text her, and like, all the information that I ever, I'll whip their ass. <laughs> Dude, they would play along with, you You would, you would probably do that, and they would play right along, and then you'd just be in this entire role-playing fight. I shit you not, because how role-playing fights went was... I mean, I already show. I already told you, like a star. Yeah. Ah! Ah! It's it's, ah, it's so cringy. Ah, okay, I can t I can do this. I can tell you, I can do this. Ah. Okay, J just give me a second. I'm sorry. So I, pretty much like. My, my greatest fear, like, if I texted her, she would look up the area code and find out that where I really was, because, you know, the area code. And, oh my god, dude. Yeah, I kind of... Uh, uh, so, after that relationship with Kayla, okay, I'm really into the Assassin's Creed Wolves. Wait, hold up. Hmm. Should I tell him that? No, actually, I'm kind of curious about Bolt 81. Give me a second. Bolt 81. You're still up and running? Yeah. Pretty good observation there, genius. Now, fuck you. Why do you ask? Why are you asking about my pit boy? We get plenty of scavengers and traders passing by the entrance. Everybody wants to get in the shiny red button. But you're the first one to try it with a working pit boy. You know what? Let's just make this easier on... I'm just going to make this easier for both of us. Like me and this dude and just tell him the truth. I got it in Vault 111. Vault 111? Haven't heard of that one yet. And what sort of business are you looking to take care of here in 81? I'm looking to trade. Le yeah, let's just be truthful. Oh, right, the story that I was telling you. Well, if someone wants in, they can earn it like everyone else. Hold on, I want to hear what they're saying. Let me speak to them. Anyways, essentially, uh, somehow I'm always managed to, like, just always tell her, like, just give me a second. Like, I'll, I'll text you back. Just give me, like, just give me some time. And, and I never text her back after that. Anyways, when I was at my worst, dude, I was pretty much playing PlayStation Home constantly. Like, as soon as I got home from school, I would immediately, like, go immediately play PlayStation Home and, like, you know, to have talk to friends over there and, like, you know, just conflict. Because back then, I loved to argue, and I was good at arguing. Because back then, I, I kind of had a messiah complex, you know? Uh, and pretty much what a messiah complex is, essentially, like... You can save the world. Like, back then, I, th I had all this, like, philosophical bullshit in my head. But I'm a fellow vault dweller. Can't you just let me in? Excuse me, ma'am. Before you arrived, he did say he was from Fuck yes. <sighs> so anyways, uh... God damn it, it's so hard, like, playing a video game and then remembering the story. Let's just get this shit over with. 
God damn. Okay. Uh, that was a shit ton of, uh... Huh. McNamara. Just like the politician. But anyways. Wait, let me just get out my power armor just to be polite. But anyways, my story. So when I was at my worst, I was playing uh, PlayStation Home constantly. I would rather play PlayStation instead of go outside. And the only reason why I stayed in shape, because back then I was really good into running. Everyone's working hard right now, Cal. God damn, she got a body. Because I'm the shit bitch. I understand. No, I'm just gonna be sarcastic. Well, aren't you a ray of sunshine? You think you're funny? Yes. Exactly why outsiders don't belong here. No, 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 no. God damn it, no. I can't, no. I gotta behave. God damn, that body though, dude. I, ho I really hope she, like, isn't that old looking. Sorry about that. As you'll soon see, we have a few maintenance projects under... Dear God. Dude. Overseer. Welcome to Vault 81. We've never encountered a fellow Vault... Okay. Is this vault I'm sorry. You mentioned still Anyways, so let, just to go back to the story. Like, uh, When I was at my worst, dude, I would play constantly. And... When, like, the relationship between me and Kayla, like, Butterfly Kiss 22, didn't go so well. I would, so, you know, like, I just, you know, I work under Kayla, and I was just, I was in between the bullshit, uh, oh, look, we have another person. Sup? But anyways, like, I'll just wrap up the story quickly. Pretty much, uh, god damn it. Hold on, I'll, I'm so sorry, but I'm essentially new person, like, uh, I'm telling about when I was, uh, when I, but you, you, uh, person, do you know about, do you have a PlayStation 3, uh, person that showed up? Like, you know, back when PlayStation 3 was around, you know, when it was new? So sorry about that, Mystic. Like, I'll just continue the story while I'm waiting for this dude to, you know, reply back. So, when I was in this, I got really into uh, relationships. And you know how I said I wasn't really the best socially in real life? But for some fucked up reason, I was the shit. I was quite the lady killer in PlayStation Home. Because in PlayStation Home, like, I feel like I could text anything because there's no real life repercussions. And I guess repercussions, excuse me. And I guess that's why I uh, pretty much, uh, you know, was so outgoing. And yeah, dude, I pretty much talked to other people that were into role playing in PlayStation Home. And uh, oh god, this is where it got really sad. I. Uh, I role played sexed. I shit you not, dude. Bitch, I can wait. You can wait, bitch. Anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it. I. Some people, like, they would role play, like, they would be either the kid and two players. Real life people would role play as <laughs> parents. And it was this weird, fucked up family thing, and it was all. Oh my god, bitch! this weird fucked up family thing and I just I just ate that shit up really and I was into role play and when I was at my worst dude all I ever did was play PlayStation home and <sighs> I got into relationships and I got into the role playing scene and also I fucking I I had multiple relationships on PlayStation Home, and oh my god, this is so embarrassing to talk about, but it has a good moral. 
okay? And I kind of realized, I mean, first let me just tell you what I did. I pretty much role-played and role-played sex. And if you ever, like, sexted with a person, that's what pretty much is. It's just sexting, but not with pictures. You actually, like, typed what you would do to her in real time. This is where it got extremely fucked up. And, oh my god, I, I, I was in, okay, you know what, it's just, it, it, that's just the worst part, okay, and just the role playing aspect was fucked up enough, but I actually fucking got laid typing it, and I was, anyways, long story short, it was winter, okay? I kind of realized that something had to change because all I ever did was play PlayStation and it was it was a winter, okay? It was like a year or two later. And I kind of realized after I did I typed star come all o- like come in pussy and as soon come down that was the past yeah you're right it is the past but it's just (sighs) just looking back at it dude like i really fell i was really i really fell off the deep end and i'm just proud of myself dude that i mean essentially my problem was i was playing playstation instead of going outside and living life that's that's the that's the thing and I kind of realized that something had to change when I, it was like, it was like in the middle of winter, okay? It was like 2.30 in the morning on a school night. And as soon as I was done typing, you know, what I just said sexually, I kind of just like looked up from the keyboard and I just looked at myself. I'm in nothing but boxers, okay? And I smell disgusting. I smell like, to put in, I smell disgusting. I hadn't showered in like God knows how long. This is why no one would ever fucking talk to me at school. And I, I didn't shower for God knows how long. I smell... Oh my God. You, you're gone. I'll... <sighs> Have you ever seen any other I'll wait for your number one thing to appear back. In all our time here, I'm on a single traveler from another vault. Here, we pride ourselves... Welcome back, dude. Successful. So, uh... It was middle of the night. I kind of realized I just... I smelled disgusting. I smelled similar to, like, not washing under the foreskin for god knows how long that's how disgusting like uh, you per- hopefully you don't know what it smells like but just to give you like i'm saying something disgusting to give you like a general feeling of how disgusting i smelled and i just got up dude and i'm just like for the first time in my life i'm actually just like thinking what the fuck am i doing <laughs> and like i just you know i'm just like in this deep train of thought because back then I really liked thinking a lot. So I got up. Hold on. I'll act it out. No. Okay. So I got up. And I just walked out of my room. I walked into the restroom. I just looked at myself in the mirror. And what I saw. I, I didn't even recognize myself anymore, dude. The only reason I stayed fucking skinny was because I ran a lot. That's all I ever did was run. Because that was a emotional outlet. Because shit was going down at the time. And play PlayStation. And what I saw in the mirror, dude, like, my hair was long and oily. It was disgusting. And, like, I had... It looked like fucking Christmas hit my hair with all that dandruff. My eyes were bloodshot. And, like, I had so... My acne was terrible. I smelled, like, my hand... Oh, my God. that I had that disgusting hand smell. Like, you know when you hold a controller for a really long time? And, like, that weird smell from after your hands... Your hands... Your palms, excuse me, like, sweat a lot? And that that smell just permeated, and like my boxers were stained with shit I couldn't even describe, just to like spare you, like uh, just to spare you, like I'll spare you the 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 smells, like I'll spare you like what was actually on my boxers, like dude, I was I was look, I was I had no life, I honestly had no life. All I did was PlayStation, school, I, sh- I was shit at school, run PlayStation. And as soon as I got up, dude, I looked at myself in the mirror. I kind of got upset with myself, like, 
what the fuck have I become? Like, I used to been, like, I thought, like, I am better than this. Like, like, just that really big idea that, why am I playing video games? Like, why am I doing this? Well, I'm doing video games because I think it's fun. Why do I think it's fun? I think it's fun because I'm doing something I wouldn't really do in real life. But what am I doing in real life? I mean, what am I doing in the game that I can't do in real life? And it is was it was essentially, you know, be social, talk to other people. And that right then and there, that's when something like two neurons in my brain just started to like, you know, make a connection. Why the fuck am I being social in a video game when I could do that in real life? And like just the physical and hygiene, like just the hygienical repercussions of just me doing this i got really upset with myself because like i'm better than this so i like i remember like ripping out the playstation 3 i was so disgusted with myself because i was this is not a way to live dude like just constantly playing video games i'm a football player not on air not on air though player not on air though Actually, can you please explain that while I continue? So you're a football player. But, like, essentially, like, I ripped out the PlayStation, okay? And, like, I'm so, like, all up in my emotions. You know, I'm, like, 15, 14, you know, like, I, I'm not really in that. I'm not in control of my emotions yet. So I take the PlayStation 3. I walk outside in nothing but my boxers, dude. It is like fucking snowy outside. It's cold as shit. And I didn't give a shit. And I'm like walking to the dumpster. Like, I live in apartments, okay? So, like, there's this big dumpster that everyone uses to take out their trash. So I'm like in nothing but boxers. I'm like, I'm bawling my eyes out. I'm like crying. And I'm like holding the PlayStation 3 above my head over, like, the trash can because it was open. I'm just looking up at the PlayStation like bawling my eyes out and I'm just like remembering like I'm about to throw it away and I'm just like thinking all the friendships that I've had all the good times that I've shared on this medium and was it really worth throwing away my PlayStation 3 but I needed to do something and if I didn't do something now dude I would have probably still walk down the path that I was walking down like you know just constantly playing PlayStation so I'm like about to throw the PlayStation 3 away and something I, I just couldn't do it man I just couldn't do it so I'm like I just collapse I'm like on the fetal position on cold ass concrete and snow I'm like holding the PlayStation 3 to my chest and I'm just bawling my eyes out because I couldn't do it and for some fucked up reason I didn't notice that there was a cop car chilling like right like on a parking lot like there's the dumpster and then there's the parking lot ah shit hold up i'm gonna get something to drink shit all right i'll be okay you're back okay i'm getting something to drink right now hold up <clears throat> so like the to my <laughs> I didn't notice that there was a cop car chilling right by the dumpster when I'm like doing all this in front of the dumpster with the PlayStation. And I could just imagine him looking at me like I'm like he's just I wish I could show you the face if I had a fucking webcam. That's what I'm going to do. All right. Next time I'm going to go to Walmart and buy a webcam so I could show you the facial expression next time. Actually, I think I have a webcam somewhere, but you know what? I'll worry about that later. So he's like looking at me and he like steps out the car and he's just like standing over me and he's like, you okay, son? And I just like look at him. Like I st immediately stop crying and like I'm just like, oh, shit. Because <laughs> like just the, 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 just the position I was in was so compromised. I was I like died of embarrassment. But like I was still up in my emotions. He's just like and he asked me again. I'm just like staring at him like as if. He was a fucking alien or some shit. And he's like, ask me again, you okay, son? And then uh, he took me into his place. He took me to his cop cruise and then we had a nice talk. And I'll spare you that little speech because that was a, another fucking 
headache. I wouldn't say headache, but it was another thing to think about. So essentially, dude, I still... I think of... I kind of recognize that PlayStation Home or any kind of electronic medium. Any kind of... Like, you notice how we're... Like, you have a phone. Like, you know, you have a smartphone, right? Like, you can, like... Yeah, do you have, like... I'll, uh, I'll ask the question just because I'm OCD. Like, you have a smartphone, correct? <clears throat> well, I can't find a uh, camera around here, but oh well, I'll buy one later. They can't be that expensive. But anyways, yeah, I'm just going to continue this while I wait for you to reply if you have a smart... But, like, you know how... <clears throat> yeah, so what's... Do you have a favorite game that you like to play? Like, I don't know, like, uh... Clash of Clans or, uh... Nah, Angry Birds. Sources we can't provide ourselves. I'm impressed you maintained a successful vault for so long. Thanks. I owe it to the overseers before me, but some here would disagree. A few believe opening the doors to the Commonwealth was a mistake. Interaction is a good thing. The Commonwealth is improving. So I've heard. But it's still got a long ways to go. Now, I have work to do. If you need anything else, I'll be in my office. Hope you're not making any trouble. So, you got a new visitor today. Don't say anything. Man, I'd love to be out there. It takes some preparation. I'd learn how to use a gun and be ready to use it before I went out there. I've never even touched a gun. Now, I can't even say if our security has seen any real combat. But with the hours we're working these days, I'm not even sure where I'd find the time to practice. Hope you guys get some breaks at least. You can't work all the time. Tell me about it. They say it's all the movie. Oh wait, dude, I forgot the PlayStation app. I can Structurally, I guess 81 is still pretty sound. Vault Tech sure knew what they were doing when they set these places up. Well, I don't want to keep you, and I got to get back to work. Maybe I'll see you around. Hey, do you have like a favorite game that you always like to play on your mobile device? Like, name it, please. I'm, I'm just, you know, just for the sake of conversation. Come on, like, this is, I hate one-sided conversations where I'm only doing the talking. Like, I absolutely hate that. Signs of radiation. Impressive. Yeah. Hey, Ashes. What you doing up here? Ashes, where are you going? Ash. Damn it. I am not going to like this. Text to speech. Okay. If you want a good meal, see Maria at the cafeteria. She'll hook you up. Looking for a meal? See Maria. She runs the Sunshine Diner in the atrium. 
sorry, like, uh, I'm like, i uh, using the iPad, like the PlayStation. I'm trying to see if I can like figure out how to. <clears throat> Yeah, uh, I probably can't use the iPad correctly because uh, I jailbroke it and I, uh, I kept on uh, doing stupid shit like trying to buy, I, like I bought a shit ton of shit without actually paying for it because, you know, like in, ugh, yeah, pretty much I can't really update anything on my iPad because I, uh, <laughs> I, uh, did too many shit, and, like, on YouTube, I mean, on the Apple, like, they're smart, Apple, those motherfuckers. Hey, mister, are you really from the Commonwealth? Yes, I am. I knew it! Hey, I can show you around the vault if you want. Just by that. Sure, but I'm not paying you. Okay, okay. Start over here. Dude, as soon as you, like, get old enough to actually have a job. Yeah, sure, dude. I can play Dying Light with you. No problem. Like, right now? This is the depot. The Combs family run it. Aaron and I are best friends. Her mom and dad fight a lot. So I don't like to go in there when they're around. But if you need something, they're the ones that have it. Whoa! What? What the fuck is this kid supposed to know about sleeping? I bet you a lot of strange things. Ooh, and Raiders. I bet you bought Raiders too. Yeah, I had my fair share of bouts. Uh, I mean, like, if you're giving me the choice, like, I'm probably going to have to, like, honestly say no, mostly because, like, I've played Dying Light so much, like, it's already, well, on one condition, okay? Well, actually not, dude, I, I, I've played Dying Light way too many times to for it to actually be fun again, because... Nah, I'm good, dude, but you're fr like, it's cool for you to go back if you're actually still here. Let me message you just in case. Hey, mister, you gonna say anything? Yeah, give me a second, kid. I'm, like, talking to a person. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm here, yeah. Well? Give me a second, kid, shit. Actually, yeah, you know what, fuck it. Sorry, guys, whoever's watching this. <whistles> Anyways, yeah, um, the person that I was talking to... Can I go now? God damn it, shit. Downstairs. That's where the diner is. 
Sorry guys, I am so sorry. Whoever's watching. If that's you, uh, Mr. Uh, Lord uh, Suikotsu, uh, it's cool if you can if you play Dying Light. Like you know, just uh, uh, like you know, it's cool if you want to uh, get to. Uh, like, it's cool if you leave right now and just like warm up your skills on Dying Light. I'll put down a timer as soon as that timer's down. I promise. I'll. Uh, Awesome. Does this show up on here? Cannot load. I'm so confused right now. That is a shame. Oh well. All right. <laughs> Again, I'm so sorry. Like, people, you can just, like, skip, I don't know, like, at least five seconds, five minutes ahead. Give me a second. Oh, my God, this really sucks, really. I real, I feel really guilty, like, whoever's watching, like, if someone, like, actually takes the time to watch this entire hour-long video. Like, I sincerely apologize. Okay. So yeah, I'm just going to put down a timer for an hour, and then we go to Dying Light. <laughs> timer. One hour. And zero minutes. Okay, start. Okay, there we go. I have one hour left. Sometimes it gets real crowded. The summer sets are nice though. You'll like them. For the <sighs> just for the uh what is it called? Uh the uh, what is it called? When you like feel like you're in a game, uh fucking once you're it ah uh, shit, what's the word? Fuck. Like when you feel like you're actually in the game. That word. Oh my god, I gotta read a dictionary every once in a while. Sub, buddy? That is so weird. Like, it says that, like, on the person counter thing, it's at zero. Anyways, buddy, like, it's cool if you, like, go ahead and, uh, warm up at Dying Light. I already have the timer down for an hour, so as soon as that's up, I'll go straight to Dying Light. Then we can, uh, just do my, uh, like, I'm still early on to the game, and, like, I always wanted to, like, do the, uh, main story, you know, with actual a person. Oh, yeah, okay. Here's the number one thing. Welcome back, dude. Sup, uh, other person. Welcome to my stream. And, uh, yeah, I'll just shut up because talking, uh, gets annoying. Or, okay, maybe I should keep talking then. Shit. I don't know how this, uh, thing works with, uh, you know, keeping people watching you. But oh well, it's fine. What are you doing here? Are you bothering that 
God forbid I like get all that YouTube stardom to my head because I've seen what people like get full of themselves become well the majority there are actually some really cool people who uh, handle that attention decently so uh, who, whoever's what so uh, who's this person is this mystic or that other person that just was nice enough to show up Shut up with your Asian, uh, Suno looking ass. Please, you haven't needed my help in years. Whatever Hi, it is, it can you? wait. Oh, so Aaron, I seriously failed, wait? dude. I'm over encumbered. On more than you're here. Whatever happened to loving husband and father? Stop nagging. Oh shit. Just gonna walk away and pretend it didn't happen. Tragedy is invisible. We usually look away. The division. Hello. Nope. This motherfucker, I remember him. I don't have to go to school anymore. Hi, Austin. Someday, I'm gonna check out the Commonwealth. If my grand lets me. Can you continue the... The overseer says I'm good with people. Way better than grand. But I don't know. I think grand's pretty good. At least with me, she is. Nice. Can you continue hey, it? Austin. Grand says I'm a bottomless pit when it comes to... Oh my god, fuck you. Okay, nothing to do with me here. Well, since no one's here is watching, I'm just gonna go and get a uh, quick. Tr oh nope, never mind. Two people. Shit. Welcome back. I don't even. Oh my gosh, that people counter thingy. Either it's just the network lag. I don't know how that shit works, but yeah, one minute I'm thinking no one's here. I'm gonna go get a drink. Oh no, it's just one person. So sorry. I'll just shut up. Yeah, this obviously must be the medical wing. I hope I'm not being presumptuous, but I'd like to ask you a favor. Would you mind donating some medical samples, even just a blood sample? Pay me. I might for some caps. All right. The overseer did give me a few caps for this. How does 50 caps sound? <laughs> Holy shit! I wonder if I can pull this off. Hold up. God damn it! Wait. Hold up. Um, squeamish. There really is nothing. Wait, I really hope I can talk to him again. If you change your mind, you know where to find him. Fuck yes. Okay, I'm just gonna put on this thing real quick to help me with my charisma. All right, let's do this. Welcome back. Change your mind about donating some medical samples. That hardly seems enough. Hmm. I suppose I can use the rest of my allotment. I can give you 100 caps. Fuck it. You'll have to do better than that to get your pound of flesh. You drive a hard bargain. I can give you 150, but not a cap more. Just have a seat, and I'll draw some blood. All right. Well, I'm going to go f get a fucking drink while no one's here. All right, sorry about that. Just came back. I just really need to get a drink. I got a headache, so I was just assuming that I just needed something in my stomach or some shit. Water, of course. So what the fuck I miss? Dr. Forsyth, as the doctor of Vault 81, I expect a certain amount of respect. Oh, okay. Bitch. I often wonder about medical facilities oh. in the Commonwealth. Just how sanitary they must be. Do they have like a mental, like, do they have some kind of psychologist, like, around here? Because I think this dude has fucking OCD. No, I think he's bipolar or some shit. God damn. You're that wanderer from the Commonwealth. I'm Rachel. Oh, that's cool. I, I'm flattered, uh, Mystic. I really am. But cool. All right. 
I don't mind you, like, I don't mind having the share this adventure alone. That's cool. Many patients. Do you get a lot of patients in the vault? No. The people of this vault are surprisingly healthy. If that's all, I have work to do. Hello, Rachel. Actually, I need to get some shit. When it says zero, I'm still here. Alright, I feel you, dude. My bad. I guess it's probably just like the internet connection or some shit. Alright, let's see what I need. Okay. What do I need? I'm trying to remember. I need... <clears throat> Excuse me. I know I need purified water to make some shit. I know I'm gonna, I can max out on stim packs because of all the shit I'm gonna sell her. And, uh. Blood packs! Yes, I fucking need blood packs. Three oh, you know what? Fuck it. 308 rounds, why not? Okay, now I'm gonna sell her all this shit I don't need. I'm kind of attached to this shit. <clears throat> My god, I really fucking hate how, like, I breathe into the mic. That's... <sighs> okay. <clears throat> I don't need this. Oh my god, dude. It fucking sucks. Like, actually, real quick, I can level up. <sighs> Is it really worth using that one thing for... Shit. What do you think I should do? Like, just for the sec- for the sake- <laughs> sec. For the sake of, uh, feeling that you're involved, what skill do you think I should do? I mean, it's cool if you don't want to make a decision. I can make it for myself. I'll just think about it while- if you're wanting to make one, I'll think about which one I'm gonna do- just in case you don't really want to do that. Okay. What I'm thinking, well, ugh, fuck the caps. I don't need them. I'm trying to think, what is going to help me better in the long run? Because, I mean, like, I can find caps. I mean, yeah, it's it'll be cool to sell it and get more caps, but... Nah... My original plan was I was going to up the strength so I can do the heavy gunner. But remembering my play style, like how I prefer to play, it's not going to... It's n not much of a point. I really got to make up my mind, shit. You know what? I'm just going to... Hmm... Shit. I wanted to be a sniper. I want to be a sneaky. So I might do this. <sighs> Hold up. Something just scared the shit out of me. I really hope that's just my mom coming back from her wedding. Hello? Nope, just the cats. Okay. For a second there, I thought I had to beat a motherfucker. 
anyone? What's up? Anyone. Oh, yeah, any one of them. Got it. <sighs> this is so tough. You know what? I'm just going to not make a decision right now. I'll just make a... I'll use the skill point when I actually need it while I'm in the moment. There we go. For now, I'm just going to continue to sell shit. Yeah, first I th I'll worry about that shit later. Right now I need blood packs, and then purified water, and all our stim packs. Dude, I really miss that one, like exploit where like you know like you sell one bullet for like you buy all their bullets and then you sell one and then you sell all of them. Dude, that was so fucking useful. I can't believe Bethesda fixed it. I mean, I understand it breaks... Uh, what's that word? It breaks... Uh, what's the word like when you... Immersion! There we go. Immersion. It breaks immersion because... Yeah. I don't need... Oh my god. I... Mm, I don't need this. I gotta stick to my strengths and not... I mean, just focus on the things that I'm good at right now. God damn it, I should have, like, brought more shit to sell. Suppressed, calibrated. 99. You know, I'm just going to keep that until I, like, find enough materials to make a regular thing, and then I can switch the calibrated powerful sniper rifle for this one. So, yeah. Hey, you think, like... What's your, like, you know, like, that one when you, like, realize that you're talking to yourself? I mean, like, for some reason, I always find it annoying. And I don't really like it, but I'm guilty of doing it because, I mean, like, it'd be boring just, like, you know, I think, I think it would be boring. Because, you know, some people prefer watching people play and not hear a single word. While others would prefer commentary, but what do you, like, pe you know, like, players that, like, constantly talk... Like, I really don't want to be like those players that, like, I talk too much to the point where I'm annoying. I really don't want to do that. But yeah, essentially, like, my point is, I'm always careful, like, I don't want to talk too much to the point where I'm annoying, and I, for some reason, I think, I don't really like, you know, I'm just kind of just uncomfortable, like, hey, I'm talking to myself, am I talking to myself, does that mean I'm slightly going crazy? Mystic Sweet Kotsu? Sorry, sorry for what, bro? Sorry, <laughs> bro, sorry for what, bruh? Fuck. Stealth boy. That's going to be useful. Oh, wait, dude. This is actually pretty badass. Let me look for it. Uh, where is it? Mind cloud syringe. This shit is actually pretty badass. The target believes the player has vanished and has a reduced chance to detect you for 30 seconds. That's really badass. I'm like... The chemist thing, dude, that's gonna be pretty fucking useful. Refreshing beverage. Like, I usually, like, want to make shit like this, the refreshing beverage, because, like, come on, look at that. Like, it, cu it gives you 500 health and takes away 100 rads and cures your addictions. Come on, that is so fucking useful. Not talking. All oh, right. No problem, dude. I can shut the fuck up for you right now. Shit. 
I'm gonna have to like not take a lot of stuff. Shit. Great, I'd still be broke. Okay, there we go. That sounds, I'm fine with that. And I can move again. Awesome. So now, my plan for right now is I'm just gonna... Just do some more jobs until that hour is up. As soon as that hour is up, I got like 41 minutes until I go to, you know, we do fucking Dying Light. But right now I'm just going to explore here, see if I can find any jobs. character looks kind of decent like in my opinion but I'm just gonna yeah he truly looks hipster now <laughs> Anyways, I'm just going to see if there's any, like, I'm just going to look for the vendors here, and then I'm going to get the fuck out of here and look for... I watched Dragon Ball Z. Dude. You know, I have to give Dragon Ball Z the respect it deserves, because, you know, like... If it wasn't a good show, it wouldn't... People wouldn't... Still, people wouldn't... If Oh, let me rephrase that. I, I kind of lost my train of thought. When you, like, talk too fast before you know what you're thinking. I think it's just like that pressure of, you know, being in a, uh, you know, live streaming. Huh? Like you kind of talk before you think because you want to. Well, anyways, Dragon Ball Z. So what do you like about Dragon Ball Z? Uh, Nigga, damn! Your nose is big! I'm just kidding. I mean, that... That, I... Okay, I'm... I, I feel terrible now. That's actually... That's really insensitive. Horatio. God damn, this dude's pretty exotic. Lord Queros. Who's Lord Queros? Because I'm not really familiar. I don't really watch Dragon Ball Z. I mean, like, I remember watching it all the time when I was younger, like a little kid, but I just never really got to it, to, like, actually watching it. Like, older, because, like, I watch anime, dude, but for some reason, I'm, like, a hipster. I'm a hippie. I'm a hipster anime. Like, I only watch anime people don't. I watch anime that isn't mainstream for some reason. Like, uh, Gate. Gate, not Steins Gate, but Gate. That is a good anime. If you're into that kind of thing, of course. But yeah, I mean, I don't really watch, uh, stuff like Dragon Ball Z, mostly because, like, it's too mainstream and. I mean, I'm pretty sure I like. I would love it if I gave it a chance. And Goku says, "Dragon, wake your lazy ass up." Well, I mean, I am kind of. Uh, I'm lazy. I'll give you that much, but. Uh, it's weird how I do it. Like, I'm lazy, yeah, but for some reason, I do the most athletically daunting 
things, Lord Beros. Lord Beros. Is that like a character in Dragon Ball Z? Like you could use a trim. Nah, dude, I'm good. God damn it. Horatio. Perhaps some color today or a new cut? You've been outside of the vault? Quincy. Born and raised. My mother, may she rest in peace. She was a Imagine her surprise when she learned I'd rather cut hair than stitch people up. <laughs> but enough about me. About that hair. You know, I'm... He can break... Damn! Hey, hey, I, I'm just gonna ruffle your fair feathers up right now, but... Who do you think would win a fight? Goku or Superman? Did you say you were from Quincy? Sure did. Looks like I was one of the lucky ones, too. Last I heard, the gunners had taken the old one. What's the word around Vault 81? They say Hulk is running around on his wife. <laughs> Apparently, he and Tina DeLuca are secretly getting together. But never mind about them. Your hair is a disaster. You, you have to let me fix it. Motherfucker. How can you? I'm wearing a beanie. The fuck you mean you can? You know, whatever, I'm not, not no. Interested. That's too bad. A new look could really suit. You know, I think he's just talking like that just to make me feel bad. I want, I need this Abraxo, but I can't take it because I don't need people to. Uh. Oh, you'd be surprised, bro. Anyways, I gotta focus. I gotta look for any kind of armory or some shit. Laboratory. Oh, that, for some reason I was thinking laboratory. The fuck? Kameha. Kameho boom? Kameho boom goes Superman! I... You know, I'm not, I mean, I I guess. I mean, like, I'm not really, I, like I said, I don't watch Dragon Ball Z, so I'm not really that into it. But then again, I'm not really into anything, really, and that's one of my key flaws, honestly. Like, I lack commitment to anything. Like, I don't give a shit about Superman. I don't give a shit about Star Wars. In the sense that I don't really think it's a big deal. For some reason, I want to cheat with Piper, with this person. I mean, it's pretty shitty of me to say, but god damn. I've had a few interesting moments. Stop being so modest. My kids would love to hear about Oh, god damn it. <laughs> My stories are a bit too graphic for children. Oh. Well, I don't want to upset them. I guess this was a bad idea. Thank you anyway. You know what? Fuck it. I'll, I'll tell him. Oh, you're that new traveler. You must have had so many adventures out in the Commonwealth. I wait, come on. More no, oh, hold up. No, wait. I want. I actually want to see if I can. God damn! I actually want to see if I can tell him. Shit. Ten twelve. What time is it right now? Still in my classroom. If it's ten twelve. It's 10:20. God damn it! Too much shit have changed. I can't. God damn it! Some days the children wear me out. Hey, Katie. I wish I had more materials on the Commonwealth to educate the kids about. My only fear as a teacher is that I'm not preparing these kids well enough. Oh wait. 
Wait, hold on. Let me just. Nah, I'm good. I'll stick with okay. paper. Some days the children wear me out. Okay, whatever. I fucked that up. Next time, uh, take conversation seriously. What I wouldn't give for some real time off. Hey, watch out for the maintenance. It never ends around here. Dude, I like. Yeah. The. Like one of the one things that keeps me, like, amused is like how many times they use the same voice actors to voice different characters and they just like slightly change their voices like you're not fooling anyone well you're not fooling me like i like how they hired the dude who voiced garris for mass effect 3 like i know it's that motherfucker because i know that voice anywhere like garris vicarian he was my he was my fav he was <laughs> he was one of my favorite characters in mass effect when I played it, of course. But, yeah. I like, I love how they hired that dude to voice all these fucking characters. Like, all they did was just slightly change his, uh, voice. You know, I'm about to leave here, because I'm starting to give up. Oh, wait. Here we go. Never mind. I'm trying to look for a place where they sell guns. You know, like shit that's useful. Hopefully, eighty-one will quit her bussing long enough to give us folks a decent break. You know, I'm about to leave, honestly, because I'm starting to give up. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna go. Okay, what was my plan again? I gotta write that shit down. I kind of forgot what the fuck I was doing. Thank goodness for one note. So my plan is, I'm gonna my. The main plan was to get money. I only have half an hour to get shit done before we go on to Dying Light, so. Okay. It does, bitch. Oh, I mean, it. She's right. I mean, I, I kind of found it on it. We all know how we got the pit boy. Hey, now that you made it in, we'll be keeping an eye on you. So do us all a favor and behave yourself. Plan. Get money. Okay, my plan, my plan for now. Okay, dude, let's see what's on the to-do list to get more money. We could do the disappearing act. I'm too lazy to make sure that gets done. That, I... I, I fuck that I tried looking around and other there has either there is there's this trailer that has a really good it's like a lock that's above my level it has to have something in there but I yeah no okay oh this is gonna be a good one hey mystic you still here Mystic, this is actually going to be a good one. Have you gone to the Witchcraft uh, Museum? I'm going to write on my... I'll play Dying Light. All right, dude, I'll see you in half an hour. Got half an hour left. So, yeah, I'll see you in half an hour, bros. Wait, hold up. Before you go, uh, is it cool if we play on my... Like, story game, because I barely even fucking started. Like, I'm only at, like, 10% story mission. That'd be pretty cool for both, you know. I mean, I'm down to doing whatever you want. Explore the witchcraft museum. Okay, there we go. That's on the to-do plan.
someday, I'll make it out there. Don't want any trouble in 81. Pardon me, officer. Don't try anything. Man, fuck you. Hell yeah, alright dude. Anyways, I have like a good shit, uh, half an hour left. Alright, so you just go ahead and warm up, alright? I'm gonna at least try to find some way to wake up more. Probably just gonna eat some food before I get on to, like, uh, before I get on Fallout. I mean, excuse me. <laughs> shit, I think I might need some sleep. Fuck, I should've went to bed and then played video games so my head isn't that cloudy, but I took ADHD medication, so I should be fine. Anyways, dude, I'll see you in Fallout, I mean, uh, Dying Light in, like, soon, or, like, half an hour, if you consider that soon. Half an hour goes pretty fast, though. Because I remember when I'm at work, I get half an hour breaks, and, yeah, that half an hour just goes like that. That time is gonna fly. Anyways, dude, I'll see you in, uh, Dying Light. I got 25 minutes left. Welcome to my stream. Um, is that you, Mystic, or is this another person? Well, anyways, welcome to the stream. Right now, I am currently, well, looking for materials, mostly aluminum. It's uh, aluminum and adhesive to make, well, just pretty much do the switcheroo. And they're gone. Damn. Oh, I'll just focus on playing. Options. Display message to spectators and spectators comment. Does this get rid of the annoying ass window? Yes, it does. Fuck yes. All right, sorry, whoever's still watching this. Goodness gracious, it's already like two hours in. And anyone like, honestly, like, if anyone actually like watches this, like, in the future, and they like still, you know, like they literally stuck with me for the entire two hours, like I fucking respect you, and like I really appreciate you watching. 
And, uh, yeah, I'll just focus right now on actually, you know, being, uh, you know, entertaining. And actually just play the game instead of doing what the fuck I was doing. So second screen. Okay, right now I am going to go home. Well, right now I'm going to go look for materials while I'm on my way back to base. <clears throat> and while I'm doing that, I'm going to actually... You know, actually I'm not going to... The only reason why I wanted to explore the witchcraft thingy was to huh you know actually not the thing but i think i'm probably just gonna like stream when i'm actually doing something interesting instead of like you know having to do the uh you know what fuck that i'll still stream i mean come on the, the chances of people actually watching this i mean i really shouldn't down great downplay myself but If people can do this, so can I. And that's kind of narcissistic. I'm just going to shut the fuck up right now and just play. Oh yeah, did I mention that I'm actually playing on Legendary? Well, I, I hope I'm still playing on Legendary. Survival. <laughs> the fuck did Legendary come from? Difficulty level affects damage and chance of Legendary. Survival level also dramatically slows the rate of healing. Is anyone even watching this? Text to speech, okay. Does this thing even, like, work? Hello? Cannot load. Hold up. What? What? Hold up. What? What? Oh, just now. Holy shit. Dude. Holy shit. It's actually, it showed up on the iPad, and I heard you. I'll just stick with you. That's badass. Did you, like, type, hold up. I can't believe this. Hold up. I disabled the, uh, how I did this, like, I just, I was kind of getting annoyed by the, uh, you know, like, that weird box frame, like, around the screen. I was kind of getting annoying, so I wanted to try to get rid of that. Was that, did you just type me right now? Like, as in the second? Oh, shit. That's badass. And, oh, dude, I'm so flattered. Really, I am. So what made you change your mind? Include microphone audio from headset or PlayStation camera when broadcasting. Yeah, that's that's the thing. Include party audio or display. Man, okay, comments to speech. Speak speak spectator comments. Okay, there we go. So I'm just gonna have it on. I'll play it through the headsets, but not through the iPad because I mean I'll hear them, but you don't you don't need to hear what it's being texted because I mean yeah. It's just to help me, you know, instead of having to waste time, like, text, well, never mind. Okay. Sorry about that, dude. I am about to go back to the game. Really, I'm really sorry. <laughs> oh.
already? You know, do you ever think like the fighting comp, like the fighting system's unbalanced in Dying Light? Like I remember when I was really, really into Dying Light, <clears throat> I actually went on the Dying Light forums created by uh, the people that made the game. And like there's always a discussion how like the people who played Night Hunters, who absolutely love playing Night Hunters, would always bitch and moan about how uh, the humans, you know, regular people, like how it's not it's not a fair fight. Hold up, I'm trying to connect the charger to the iPad so it doesn't die on me. Shit, I can't do it with one hand. There we go. So how'd the fight go? And you can take your time because, like, the typing won't show up on uh, the screen. So, yeah, pretty much only you and me can, uh, I can only, it's just you and me. Oh, you think it's, like, unbalanced? Dude, I feel you. So how'd the fight go? Like, was he just spamming the flares, or was he, like, really good? Hi there, person. Holy shit. What the f- Dude, this is the most- Ugh. This is a pretty sketchy place to start your business. I know for a fact I'm taking this. Oh my god, I'm buying all this dude's junk. Oh, he rage quits? That's how it worked? Wait, well, I thought you lost to an ultimate survivor. Why would he rage quit? Wait, why would he say you... S yeah. I mean, like, you're the one who lost. Why would he say that? Unless he's being, like, an asshole, of course. This is really frustrating. Well, I'm not, yeah, that, no, I'm not selling this. God damn it. Both the same damage. Accuracy 99. <laughs> oh, yeah, wait. XP as a night hunter? Or are you playing as a zombie? I mean, as a human. One for loud situa one for loud situations, one for quiet situations. All right, so I 
Actually, I'm going to have to keep that one to take its parts. Anyways, like, you were playing as a Night Hunter? Like, the fuck was going on? Oh, okay. Hmm. I know as a human, if you, like, die, but that's only in story mode. If you die, you lose like, XP. When you mean, like, XP, do you... Well... Does it... You don't die a lot, do you? I remember killing you once, or... That is... Yeah, you, lo you lost XP for a really fucked up reason. <sighs> that's... That's, a, that's so fucking confusing. Dude, that fucking sucks. I'm really sorry. But hey. I mean, like, if you mopped the floor with my ass, this dude probably was pretty fucking good, and he probably has... He probably doesn't even have a life compared to me or you if he's that good. I mean, like, think about it. Just to make it... Because, I mean, like, anyone who's really good is either a professional gamer or they spend way too much time indoors and you know if you're good at video games that's something you unless you get paid for it as a career you shouldn't be oh shit dude that's a legendary waiter hold on i need to get fucking cover This dude's a dumbass. Hmm. If I ever go up against mutants, this might actually be useful. You know, I actually thought I could be a night hunter. <laughs> Come on, dude. It's just a rank. The rank doesn't define you. Your skill does. I mean, like, I remember... Like, believe it or not, dude, I used to... I was... Oh, my God. I... When I played Dying Light, I had, like, this one saved game, but I accidentally deleted it. So I had to start all the way fucking over from scratch. But this was when I was at like my heyday. I was like at the I was at the top of my game when it came to night hunting. Like here's to give you some perspective. Like I for some reason I was really really into fucking uh I was really into night hunting. Like, you know, fighting night hunters. And I guess like I got good, but you can only get good by actually, you know, like, doing the one thing you actually want to get good at. And here's to put a perspective. You know every time you die, when every time you get killed by a Night Hunter, you get one free flare. And by the time, like, I, uh, was, well, <laughs> oh, God. I had, like, 300 fucking flares. And I didn't notice this. I just kept on stacking and stacking flares until, like, I had, like, 300 flares and I was like oh crap it kind of like gave me more perspective onto how long I've been fighting night hunters and how many times I've got killed which it's humbling to think about to know that I, I didn't get good I earned that skill well the way I look at uh, the rank it just shows how long a person's been playing and how long a person plays you know it Generally, a person that plays long, you know, it's no-brainer shit. You can piece it together. I'm, I'm just gonna assume you are a very intelligent person. And like, you know, the really funny part, like when I like lost my saved game, like I started over from scratch. I immediately, like, as soon as I was able to like play online, instead of playing the store mission, like level zero. Well, I wouldn't say level zero, but I was like a fucking noob. As soon as I... <clears throat> excuse me, I'm a... <coughs> excuse me. 
So I'm like a noob again, and I like go up against night hunters, and all I have, dude, like I don't even have, like I immediately get right to fighting night hunters. Like I shit you not, like I don't even have a fucking weapon. And all I need was a fucking UV flashlight, and I was still able to hold my own. Like my first night hunter match with a person. Like after I started over from scratch, it was so fucking satisfying because like I had nothing, literally nothing, and I was still able to keep this dude off of me from pouncing me just because of my old skill level of, you know, making sure they don't pounce me. And like we had this conversation on the chat log, like I told him, you know, I pretty much fucked with this guy like, hey, I'm new, please go easy on me, you know, just to, you know, fuck with him. So I, like, kill him a couple times, and he's like, you're, well, how did that thing go? Hold up, dude. <laughs> I think I mixed up the story with another thing. But essentially, this dude, like, was pissed off. Like, he accused me of cheating because, like, I'm a new person. He was, like, a fucking apex predator, and he was streaming. He sent me, like, a, actually, dude, I'll send you a fucking screenshot of that conversation. I, I promise you. But yeah, dude, it's so fucking satisfying, like, kicking ass when, uh, I had nothing but a fucking pipe, and I still kicked that Nighthunter's ass. Like, I, like, was looking around frantically for a weapon, and, like, I found a trash bin pile, and I found a pipe. You know what? I was like, you know what? I have this pipe, well, let's kick some fucking ass, and I still kicked his ass, even though it was a pretty close game. Do you remember your best ever match as a night hunter? I'm pretty sure you have, like, you probably have a few good stories. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Oh shit. Four people at the same fucking time? You're shitting me. Hold up. You know, for me, the greatest time, like, the most greatest moment I ever had in a video, like, in a uh, Night Hunter match, like, when I was at my best, like, I was I was at my peak. Like, I would never get any better than how I was back then. Was when I went up against this, like, one guy, and he had this one spit, like, the, it disabled your survivor sense. And, like, it was so fucking nerve-wracking, dude. Like, but as a person, like, as a human... The most important thing whenever you're fighting night hunters is you keep your cool. Like, you stay calm. Because the moment you, like, lose your cool, that's when, like, you start freaking out and you make mistakes. Because you feel me. You're a night hunter. You've seen people, like, you come out of, maybe you pop out of nowhere against some noobs and, like, they're just, like, fumbling. Like, they're just standing there because they're fumbling around on the controller trying to figure out what to do.
So, yeah, like, I feel you. What's... And... <clears throat> shit, I lost my train of thought. So, like... This one dude, he disabled my survivor... Shit, that mic. He disabled my survivor sense. I'm, like, on a roll. I, like... You know, I have my headphones on. I guess that's the only reason why I vaguely... I was like, okay, just to the point. To the point. Basically... He was about to get me. He was about to pounce me. I had no survivor since I had no idea where he was coming from. And for some reason, I heard it. I guess it was just out of reflex, but I was lucky. I had no idea where the fuck it was. I was trying to listen desperately to, in my headphones to see where he would. he's coming from, you know, general direction. And then as soon as I hear, like, he's, he's about to pounce me, and I immediately look up, and I use the... Flash UV flashlight. That motherfucker was about to pounce me directly above me, and I managed to prevent it. It was like I was so. It was like one of those badass moments. I'm just like, oh. Yeah, that's probably my most badass moment. Shit. What is he doing? So, hey, uh, second person, if you're still on here, welcome to the stream. You play Dying Light? Oh, yeah, wait, hold up, I'm trying to check the timer. Yeah, you're right, dude, 20 minutes, god damn, hold up. I'm going to the timer, see how much time I have left. Shit. I'm actually ha having decent fun. At least... I'm amused, but maybe it's just because of the human interaction, so it's not boring. Can uh, clock, there we go. Aw, oh, damn it, dude, you're right. I have like nine seconds. That is such a shame. Dude, you had some... That was pretty spot on uh, time. Yep, there's a the timer. All right, dude, I'll uh, see you on Dying Light. Let me just save up. <clears throat> oh shit three people god damn it dude come on please let me just let me just continue this, okay? There's already three people. Please, this is like the most people I've ever had, alright? You can go into Dying Light. I'll like... I'll like join as soon as there's like no people on this stream. Which probably should... I mean, I'm new, so... Come on, these guys are probably just gonna leave sooner or later. But anyways, welcome to the stream, uh, people. Got a favorite game? Just curious. And, you know, just for, uh, conversation. Come on, don't be shy. Anyone on there? Anyways, Mystic, if like no one replies, like I'll go to Dying Light. Trust me, I like, got like just give me like 20 seconds, okay? Oh shit! All right, uh, Bob. Hey, uh, Bob Dilly 15. I'm just gonna call you Bob. Is that all right with you? Anyways, Bob. Um. Okay, why not talk about the game that you're watching right now? You play Fallout? That's a very interesting place to put a pistol. Shit, gunfire. Well, let me just mess with the settings so you can see... Oh, shit. What level are you? I'm just, like, yeah. 
Anyways, I'm just uh, going to mess with the thing so you can see the comments because uh, I just want to make sure, like, I know if there's no one here so I can go on a dying light with my buddy. So, like, no pressure. You're, you're still welcome on the street. Like, you're still welcome here. Hey, yeah, Bob, do you have dying light? Shit, that'd be badass. Aw, oh, dang. You wish you did? Wait, you wish you had Dying Light or Fallout? Shit, you got Dying Light? Fuck yeah, okay. Uh, Bobbly, do you use a PS4? I mean, like, Miss, uh... Sweet Suikotsu, like you and uh, Bob, you like you get those details sorted out. I'm just gonna focus on this as soon as you guys are done. Fuck yes. Wait. <laughs> okay, so uh, you down to playing some Dying Light and being featured on a stream that no one ever watches? So, hey, that's cool. It's not about being known; it's about just enjoying what you do. So anyways, Bob, uh, can you uh, send Mystic... Wait, just send me your gamer tag so I can send you an invite to Dying Light. Like, I'll write it down. Let me just look for phone. All right, I am... Okay, I'm now ready to take your gamer tag so I can send you an invite so we all three can do uh, Dying Light. Cause me and him are already friends. As I'm ready to take your uh, gamer tag, uh, Bob, if you're uh, yeah willing to give it, so you, you, we can do uh, Dying Light if that's what you're still wanting to do, of course. Oh, you don't have Dying Light? Shit. That's a shame. Hmm. Well, I don't want to leave you hanging here since you were nice enough to show up. Oh, you wish you had the game Fallout and Dying Light? I'm so sorry I'm like failing to like keep up with the conversation. Anyways, uh sweet Kotsu, you can go ahead on Dying Light, alright? And uh Bob, you can just come with us while we play Dying Light if you uh want to. Anyways, uh sweet Kotsu, I am saving right now and then we'll go to Dying Light. Anyways, I forgot, like, I'm streaming so you can still watch us. Shit, you got GTA Online, uh, Bob? <laughs> 